Hello, everybody. Andrew Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. Sorry for the delay in the videos. We have moved. Things have been busy. I did do a video about a couple days ago, actually, but it turned out it had no sound because I was using my laptop. Um, I plugged in the webcam, didn't do it properly. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm back. I literally just finished work. I'm going to talk to you guys about lightning today. I'm going to show you guys an amazing before and after that I just did. I literally tidied up, I disinfected everything, I just have to put everything away. This is my home office, you know, you can't always see the most beautiful picture, right? You can't always see the most amazing office. This is real life. This is what the office looks like after I'm done working all day. But look at my nice patient chair. I'm going to show you guys that first. <laughs> nice, eh? Um, I do have um, a blanket on there just because she was a little bit cold, but I'm going to put that in the wash right away in case you're wondering. That's what I'm doing. But I'm going to um, show you guys the amazing before and after that I did because it looks so good. And I get a lot of questions um, in my um, independent dental hygiene network group on Facebook where people are, you know, asking what's the best whitening solution? What do you use? what works for you. So I want to talk about what works for me, but let me first show you guys this amazing before and after. Check this out. So I don't love my before picture. I don't know why it's so blurry. I typically take like five or six of them, but they're all blurry like that. So I don't know what I did, but, but you can still see. Look at the shade of the before and look at the shade of the after. Isn't that amazing, you guys? It is literally 45 minutes of whitening. That's it. I did do a cleaning first. So when I do the whitening, I do always tell people to get the best whitening possible. Do the cleaning first. You will have patients that don't want the cleaning. That's okay. But I have never seen amazing um, results like this if you don't have a cleaning first. So I tell patients to do the cleaning first. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for one second because I want to show you guys my shade guide that I do use. I ordered it off of Amazon. Easy, but check this out. Um, I have a really bright light, so it's kind of hard to see the different shades. I'm just going to kind of hold it back a little bit, but from the darkest to the lightest, this is the shade that she was, and this is the shade that she is now. It's kind of hard to see, you guys. I'm sorry, from the different... Actually, you can kind of see it now, right? Um, I have a really bright light. I kind of have to figure out where to put that in the room to make it look not so bright. So I apologize. But you get the idea. Show patients their shade. That's the best thing to do. So when I whiten, I do a before photo and an after photo. So I'm actually just going to share my screen again. So what I do is I clean the teeth first, of course, and then I do my before photo where I have also purchased this light from Amazon. Oh, let me stop sharing my screen again. Sorry guys, just so I can show you this light. I had ordered this light on Amazon, so, so that way I can use the same light for everybody. I just plug it into my cell phone. Uh, sorry, no I don't. I plug it into my power bar here. You could plug it into your laptop, computer, whatever, but since I clean teeth in patients' homes too, I like to plug it into a power bar. Let me just do that here. And then I turn it on. It's really bright, as you guys can see, but I put my cell phone here and I kind of adjust the light like this. So then that way I can see, but make sure it is not up to the face like this because then the teeth look too bright. So you do kind of have to play with it so that it looks the most natural. But I use the same light for the before and after photos so that the same light is being used, right? It makes it a little trickier if let's say I'm seeing a patient at like four o'clock and then we're done at like 5.30 the light like outside is different. So it can kind of change things a bit that way, especially if you're sitting in front of a window like I was. Um, but if you use the same light, that does help huge. Take a before and after photo and send it to the patients because they love to see that. Another thing that I use, the system that I actually use is Wicked White Pro, okay? It is awesome. It's actually made and developed by a dental hygienist. That's not why I use it. I use it because it works. I have tried 
Zoom. I have tried Pola Night, Pola Day. I've tried um, Opalescence. What else have I tried? I've tried tons. I don't love any of those products. Some of those products are very, very good, but then they cause extreme sensitivity. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to whiten if the teeth are going to be sensitive. So I found an amazing product. I've been using it now for about a year and I love it. And it is cost effective too. Like you don't have to spend a crazy amount. Um, you can charge patients with whatever you like. It's up to you. Right now I have a promo going on where the teeth whitening in office is $99. If they get a cleaning as well, if they don't want the cleaning, it's $150. If I'm going to their home, it's $200. If they get a cleaning too, it's $150. So you can charge whatever you want. I have heard of people charging upwards to $300, $400, totally up to you. It's just, that's the price that I do. Always use their pre-treatment spray, okay? So this is what I use to actually polish the teeth with. I put it in like a dappen dish. Um, I used to use pumice and water, which I do like that, but I have since ran out. So I just kind of tried this and it seems to work just as, just as well. Like you saw that before and after, right? It looks amazing because I feel what you polish with makes a really, really big difference. I've talked to a lot of hygienists that say that they just polish with a normal like profi paste, but then they wonder why the results aren't that good. So I do feel that it makes a big difference. So I just use the spray that comes with the kit. Um, but anyways, I can talk more about that afterwards. I'm not trying to sell you guys the Wicked White system. That's totally up to you, but that's the system that I use. Um, I put Vaseline on the lips before I apply any of the whitening. Um, you could use a gingival barrier. That's what I actually used to use, but it's expensive. It's like $30 a tube and you have to use a ton of it. So a hygienist in that group, um, independent dental hygiene network that I'm a part of, had actually suggested using um, Vaseline. And I thought, oh, does that actually work? It does, it actually works. And let me just show you guys what the syringes look like. So there's a syringe of hydrogen peroxide, and there's a syringe of carbamide peroxide. So there's two different types, okay? So this is what the syringes look like. I use um, hydrogen peroxide for 15 minutes. I take it off with um, um, gauze suction, that's up to you. And then I put it on again for about 15 minutes. I apply it with a micro brush. Um, it's probably over there, but anyways, you all know what a micro brush is. Um, then like not the teeny, 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 tiny ones, but the ones that are a little bit longer. Um, if you have any questions about that, just let me know. Um, so I put the hydrogen peroxide on once for 15 minutes. I wipe it off with the gauze or the suction. I put it on again for another 15 minutes. I wipe that off afterwards with gauze and, the, or, and or the suction. Um, and then I put on the carbon white peroxide for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what the patient needs. If I can tell that the patient's uncomfortable, then I make it 15 minutes, right? The cheek retractors are the most uncomfortable part for people from what I have noticed. I've never had any complaints about sensitivity. I've just had kind of complaints about, yeah, I didn't really like those cheek retractors. They didn't really feel very nice. But afterwards, they're so happy with how things look, they don't mind. And I do use a light, by the way. I did not use a light initially, but I do now. I do feel like it makes a difference. Um, a hygienist told me the light is just mainly for... Um, not for boosting the results, but for just making it work quicker. But before I didn't want to spend money on a light, but now I do feel like it makes a big difference. I will show you guys. It's kind of heavy. No, it's not heavy, but I think I'm just tired. So this is the light right here. Let me turn it on for a second. See guys, don't look right at it. So, I use that light also from Amazon, which I can leave the link for you guys for that on the bottom too. Use whichever light you want. Um, the Wicked White Pro Company does sell a light, but it's thousands of dollars. So I got an LED light off of Amazon. I don't know if it's the same light, but it seems to work for me for, I think I spent maybe 150. So that's a big difference, right? Between a couple thousand or a thousand, big difference. 150 compared to 1500. 
I will take the one for 150. So that's all I do, you guys. Um, a couple other little tips. Actually, let me show you guys that nice before and after photo again, since I don't have to show you guys anything else. There you go. So another couple um, tips are, when you're done, have the patient take out their own cheek retractors because they will be sore where those cheek retractors were. Have them take them out and you might be wondering why. Because it's, it's more comfortable for them because they kind of know what feels better to them, if that makes sense. If you take them out, yes, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but they will be more uncomfortable. And I also let the patient rinse their mouth with whipped water and a cup at the sink afterwards. I could rinse for them, but at that point they're they're usually just ex they're just excited to get up and out of the chair because they've been laying back for like 45 minutes. If I did a cleaning too, then they've been laying back for almost two hours. So they just like to get up and rinse themselves. Um, I let them know that they can look in the mirror obviously they love that. And I tell them too that their teeth do actually tend to look lighter the next day because if your mouth has been open for that length of time, the teeth are almost dehydrated. So they don't look as white as they could the next day. So, and I let them know too that if they are sensitive or a little bit sensitive to use like a Sensodyne toothpaste. Um, there's other toothpaste that I, I recommend too for people who might not like the Sensodyne, but that's kind of up to you. Um, do you guys have any questions about that? I'm just trying to think if I forgot anything. But yeah, that's the system that I use and those little things like using the spray or the pumice and the water first really, really help. Um, I don't use the gingival barrier um, on the gums because that gets expensive. So I use like a... a Vaseline product and that works just as well. You can save up your fortune um, and always keep it in a dark place, by the way. Like this is the bag that it came in. I just kind of keep it in here. Um, keep it in a dark place because I'm sure if it's um, under the light too long, it probably starts to expire quicker. Who knows, right? Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Do you guys have any questions? Let me know. Um, I hope you guys like my office. I will give you guys another tour once things are cleaned up. I feel like it's kind of messy. But thank you guys so much. It's so nice to talk to everybody again, and I'll see you guys very soon.